Hello everyone, this is Sean and welcome back to episode number 5 of our Transport Fever Norfolk Central Railroad Let's Play. We're on a free game USA map at medium difficulty. The year is 1880 and when we left off, we had just expanded our passenger service between Huntsville and Springfield to have, oh, these new futuristic trains, that's right. So I don't know that that's really an expansion of service. Uh, but we've set it up to have these new high, higher speed trains on the route. Unfortunately, the timing isn't quite right. This one is pulling into the station, so this one's going to have to wait quite a while to get out of the station. But uh, we're going to see if this if this is enough to keep up with capacity. We'll leave it at these two trains for now. Uh, but we might have enough capacity to expand to three or four trains on this line, which would be real nice. But our first priority is going to be expanding the passenger capacity, I mean, uh, replacing these two trains with the higher speed trains uh, going between Norfolk and uh, Clarksville. So that's pretty important. Uh, we've also got nice steady flow, uh, strong supply of all of our uh, parts of the chain in the uh, goods production. So I think I'm going to stop fiddling around with those vehicles for a while and leave them there. Uh, before too long, hopefully, I will be able to replace them with a train line. Uh, but uh, we're going to see how that goes. Uh, for now, um, I, I think our biggest profit is coming from our passenger trains here, so that's why I'm kind of focusing on improving them. We're only at $4.5 million in debt, so we have quite a lot of room uh, to work with. Um, so I don't really need to worry about being too cautious with my expansion. Um, uh, and I'm not really, I, I'm not really building any new infrastructure or anything, so I don't need to worry about those expenses either. So basically, I'm going to need to spend about $5 million on trains. And, uh, with only four and a half million in debt, I can, I can float the entirety of, uh, of, uh, all those repairs without having to worry about, um, you know, like actually making any money. So, and since since we are making money, uh, you know, that's that's even better. Um, so let's, uh, this is the one that we're gonna wanna expand next, or replace next. So let's focus on that, thank you very much. And turn the speed up a little bit. And then we will send it to the depot. Drop those passengers off. Don't bother picking more up, please. That's counterproductive. Just costs us money. Potential money, I think. I don't know, it's hard to say. I do know that if uh, if a train has passengers and you send it to the depot, oh yeah, those passengers dis just disappear off the train. I don't know where they go. Do they go back to the station? I know you don't get paid for them. Uh, at least not visibly from the train because the money doesn't appear. Um, so I need to borrow a couple million dollars. There we go. That wasn't a couple million, but you know what I meant. I need to get it up to a couple million. And we're going to buy one of those with three cars on it. We're going to set that to whatever line this one is. That must be the green one. There we go. And then we're going to do the same thing with this other train when it comes into the station. So let's see. And hopefully this one will go to this station first. Good, it is doing that. So it's kind of tricky setting up the uh, uh, setting up a dual line with these uh, these things on them. I don't know. I'll have to figure out how to set that up correctly. I might do that. Fiddle around with it uh, between episodes once we get the dual line set up. Uh, but we are kind of slowly working our way towards having dual lines there. Once you've got the first line laid down. It's pretty cheap to have a second line. I think I've already mentioned this, that uh, you don't have to pay maintenance on your tracks. So there's no long-term penalty to having a dual line. It's just the initial investment. And, uh, you know, you can see we're making pretty good money. So initial investment is less of a concern at this point, as long as we continue making money. But I shouldn't keep driving the debt up. Right now, the reason I want to keep debt free is to replace trains but I'm replacing all my trains I'm taking out debt to replace my trains so I need to accumulate or I need to eliminate my debt once I replace these trains 
so I can then have enough money to replace the trains again. Um, so I'm not going to get down to, you know, basically having zero debt and then build the new railroad. I would want, because that $10 million in debt, I need to have, like, in reserve to replace these four trains. I'll need to get to, like, $15 million in actual money before I can build another railroad. Um, and even there, that might not be enough. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of uh, waiting. I might do some of it between episodes. Uh, we'll see where we're at at the end of this episode. But I can just let it run at high speed for a couple of years between episodes. You guys aren't really going to miss out on anything. All right, so I was going to replace this train not loaded up with passengers, and those passengers did draw from here, and they didn't reappear here, so I don't know where they went, but they're no longer in my pool. Uh, and this is nice. I'm only going to have to borrow about a million dollars instead of a million and a half. So we've still got $3 million to work with if it comes down to that. But it just means really three less million to have to repay. So there we are. It looks like I'm going to have enough money to buy this. We do that. And then we do one, two, three. And we set line all. And I believe it's the green one. And there we go. So now we've got high-speed trains running. So how are the high-speed trains between Huntsville and Springfield? It looks like there are plenty of passengers waiting at each station. Whoops. And that's what I wanted to do. Follow this one in. Maybe pull that off the top of it. Nice looking little train there. Kind of like uh, a little bit of articulation between the cars. All right, so what happens at this station? It's got four or five, I guess there was, but it takes them all. Doesn't quite fill the train up, which is fine. 46 out of 48, you know, I mean, if I'm gonna be running that consistently, uh, that means I'm meeting demand perfectly. I always get smoke in my face from these trains. And it won't let me go down any lower. This shift, the shift doesn't do anything in this view, does it? How's this train doing? Boom. Uh, there we go. 48 out of 48. It looks like there's a bunch of passengers waiting up here. So I probably could put another, could dual this line up. So uh, we can um, lay the track down while we're waiting. That's, that's not going to be too complicated. Uh, all you got to do is just follow it along. So We'll give it some breathing room over there. We'll worry about, whoops, I'll worry about uh, putting the brake in there when it comes to that. But for now, we're just going to set this parallel track up, which is pretty thoughtless. I think you could actually go and do a nice long section like that. Yeah, see, I went a little too far there because it uh, started to take on that curved area, but that should be fine. And then build it along here. And we're going to only run into trouble once we get up to the thing for the that thing, whatever that is, the depot. So that'll allow us to easily run four trains. I just don't, there's not quite enough passengers on this end to support that, but there are a lot of passengers in Huntsville, which is interesting because Huntsville doesn't have goods or services really. So I don't know why it's producing so many passengers and Clarksville, no, Springfield is not. Uh, Springfield does seem to have a pretty good bus system. Hmm. One of the mysteries of the game. And then somehow the city that I'm really focusing on, Norfolk, uh, I mean, they're doing all right. Yeah, this train just left the station full with 48 passengers. Uh, and down here, it just left the station full. So you know what? I probably should be trying to double down on this one. Got plenty of money. So 
So more exciting track laying action. Do I want to be on that side or on the other side? Hmm, good question. I think I do want to be on that side. I might need to get out through there later on. As a matter of fact, I should do that right now. Just drag you out. And have you go like that. Because who knows where you're going to want to go later on. Well, I could look and see where I want to go. I'm going to want to go to Salem. And how would I get there? Turn on the... Oh, boy. Yeah, so I don't want to go... I'm going to have to take a long and winding road to get there. Nope. Don't need that too much curvature. Perfect. And uh, we can turn that off now. Uh, so I am going to double down the track. I guess I need to be on the other side to double that one down. Pull out a little bit. Sorry, I hope nobody's getting seasick. Double track there. And keep on dragging it along and stop before you get to the part where the track starts going out. There we go. And over on this side, what would be the best approach? So there's where I have that. So where does it end? It ends right there. Well, that doesn't mean the other one's going to be able to start right there, though. So let's do it over here, and then we'll zoom out. We'll race this train. We win. There we go. Double track action. I already made another million dollars while that was going on. Down to $5 million in debt. That is great. Let's take care of the fine details on this track. So I'm going to pause it. Actually, let's, uh, I want to pause it when, when these guys are like in their station so I can do the, the real, uh, the re real detail work on getting the, um, the depot uh, set up correctly, uh, as well as any signals on the inside. So let's, um, we should be on high speed. Let's take it down to low speed. That looks like they're both in the station, so. Wow, that's amazing. They both got to their stations at the same time. Okay, so we've got it paused. Um, so if the train comes in here, it would go out this way. Yeah, I'd like for it to be able to come back in that way too. I guess I could have it connect here and then just leave this whole section without a signal. It's not gonna hurt anything to set it up that way for now anyways. But I don't want that 32 mile an hour curve there delete that. Let's see what happens at this point. So is that the earliest I can drop that out? 44 is still not great. Fifty two, fifty eight. Yeah, that's fine. Not the best for any sort of future speed trains, but I can go through and uh, fix up my line at that point if we come to that. I don't know that this game is going to, like, mechanically last so long. I think uh, probably we'll have to go with a medium map on the next the next go-through. Uh, but this is early, so, you know, it's my first game. Next game I'm pretty sure we'll be playing on hard difficulty because it's not... Uh, I seem to have found a reasonable way to make money in this game. I don't want to get too, too ambitious um, uh, because... Uh, you know, that can definitely come to an end. But for now, I feel pretty good about it. Um, I don't know what's going on there. I wonder if I want to set up another depot over on this end as well. I kind of like just having one depot. Uh, a lot easier to keep it under control. So we're just going to build a double line here and 67 will do. 
And then you're going to connect up over there. Great. And so now we're going to build some signals. And this is the incoming track. So the incoming signal should be on the right. There we are. And then uh, we're going to want to have a few of them kind of like that. And where's the next one? The next batch is over here, isn't it? So we want to have it on that side. And let's put something somewhere in the middle of those two. Like about right here should do. And there's the next series of them. So we'll put, now ah, let's leave those like they are. We'll do another batch here. Let's get in closer for that. There we are. And that is the end of them. So I don't need one on the outgoing, but I do need one on the incoming. Great. All right. So those look good. Those look good. Good. Looks good. Those are good. Those are uh, not for my trains. All right, so I've got all the signals set up properly. So um, I think that's it. Let's let, uh, see what happens with these two trains and I should be able to put another one in after this one leaves. I did unpause it, didn't I? There you go, let's unpause it and turn the speed up. I wanna let this one get a little ways from the track. And we're gonna set the line to that one. That'll do, it's far enough. Oh, you're not supposed to go that direction. What are you doing? Hmm. Oh well. I guess I would have to uh, flip the flip the instructions on which stations to go to to make that one work. Well, that's a, you know that's just disappointing. It's not going to hurt anything in the long run. I think I can get four trains going on this. I don't know. Let's see how three trains do. Let's see what's going on in Norfolk. Great. Because this guy's going to pick up the uh, last of the people waiting here for now anyways. No. Almost full. That's great. Now you are full. It's even better. There's lots of people waiting down here still. I think I can have one more train on here. Let's do that. Let's borrow one more. So I've got a million and a half to work with, but it'll be easy to pay this back pretty quickly. We're gonna do that. And we're gonna put three of those on there and we're gonna set you to the line. Uh, that one, perfect. And you'll go head that way, right? Sure will. Hmm, I know how to fix that. I think. I need, think I need to put a signal, put a signal there. Maybe that'll change their behavior. Because, you know, it seems like it would make sense that they would go straight to uh, the nearest station instead of uh, doing what they did there. So you're going that way. But I don't want a signal there. You're running empty, right? No, nope, you're full. Hmm. Good. 
All right, how's the other passenger corridor doing? Well, it's in the other direction, so let's try going there instead. Well, we got lots of people waiting at Huntsville and some people waiting at Springfield. How did I, I didn't um, set this one up yet. Hmm, can't really double the track up. I guess I could have it go in that way. That'd be a ugly intersection. So these guys are probably both in their stations at the same time. All right, so it's perfect time to do the final touches on this track. So we're going to go to the track thing there, and we will have you go like that. And then I want to have you come out from here and get a nice 41 miles an hour. Blah. Let's try again. Looks like 50 is going to be our best option. But there's a road there, and I don't really want to go through all the trouble of replacing the road and all that just to, because like my, I don't even think my trains go that fast anyways, and it's right next to the station, so they're not going to have a particularly high speed built up at that point. I can connect you two directly, I believe. There we are. And then we're going to have another signal down here. Delete it, but I do need to delete the intersection thing, and those are all 75s, right? So we've got a nice, nice curve that we can work with. And uh, down here, we're going to run into the same problem that we have over at the other city. So let's see if we can apply the same solution. Another 55 mile an hour. Can I stretch that? I mean, I can. I'll stretch it to 61, apparently. Right, so we need a signal on both sides of this one, I think. So we're going to set it there and there. Probably want to have a set in the middle here. And then I have one over there, right? Uh-oh. No, that's right. I thought I had it in the center, which would have been dangerous. No more existing signals, so everything else is just wherever I put it. So you want to give, you know, space between your signal areas for the trains to get up to full speed. Um, you can make the signal areas shorter together the closer they get to the station, because uh, they're going to be slowing down at that point anyways. Um, and uh, like really good detail would be to not put them like where there's going to be hills and stuff, uh, or you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So they have a nice hopefully a level, uh, you know, you shouldn't put signals on a hill. I think I kind of did here. Oh, no, this is a fairly flat area. All right, so signals look good there. Let's let, let the trains run through at once to make sure that there's no serious problems, but then I can start bringing in additional trains. Looks like things are going to run smoothly. You're not giving me any errors. I think that if you couldn't find your way, you probably already would have told me so. I'm going to be able to pay for uh, pay for these uh, new locomotives almost uh, just out of my pocket. Hmm, that's right. There's that weird corner there. Probably something that would be worth fixing up because trains are starting to get fast enough. I mean, this one only goes 38 miles an hour. But I, oh yeah, that's right. This is the new high-end model as well. And down here, oh, interesting. I guess you did reach the thing at the same time. Great, I thought you were gonna tell me that we had another, another new kind of train, but we don't. All right, so let's start buying up some new trains down here. I will borrow half a million dollars. And we're going to buy a train, and it's going to be this mogul. Now, is that different than the ones that we have? It is different than the Baldwin. Baldwin goes 37. The mogul goes 47. So already, 
how old are how old is this train? Already I'd have to replace the two existing trains on this line. But I don't really want to build the outdated, on the other hand. No, you know what? I will. I'll replace, I'll replace them all. I've got the money for it. Seems kind of frivolous. So I need to, um, need to get a list of the order that the vehicles come out in so I can kind of plan ahead for that. This goes 47, and this one goes 50, so it can pull that just fine. So you're going to do one, two, three. Three, I say, three of those. That's a very expensive train. Borrow half a million dollars. Three of those. And uh, you're going to go on the only line available, which would be the blue one. That is going to be one fast train. And I'll send this one in and replace it. And I'll replace the other one that I got going. And I'll probably be broke. But I think the three trains should be enough on this line since we got these new faster ones. It's going to be enough because these new trains are very expensive. I didn't even pay attention to how much that one cost, but it must have been more than two and a half million dollars because I had to borrow some money. If it had been close to $3 million, that'd be ridiculous. I should get a good uh, good return on this investment, though. Or, I mean, you know what I mean. Get a, They'll pay me well for this train. It's not too old. The other one, right behind it. Gonna want to replace that one, too. All right, you're gonna sell and we're going to replace you with that. One, two, three. There we go. You're going to that line. You're closed, and I shouldn't let you load up passengers. Hmm. What's going on with that train? Why don't you go back to the depot? There we go. Now I can set you onto the line. But now everything's all backed up. And I just lost 48 passengers into nowhere. Probably not good for my company. Sell you. Borrow a million dollars, so... Oh, I can't borrow a million dollars. Yikes. That's not good. didn't realize I was already full on debt. Well, I need another 500000 for this one. Shouldn't take too long, I hope. Hopefully we didn't just start ourselves down a very dangerous debt spiral. Uh, but I don't think we did. train's just going to have to sit here, costing me money. But we'll be all right. This one will come in. I'll get paid for that. Although the month's about to change again, and we're going to get hit for all the... Uh, yeah, see, we just got hit for all our maintenance fees. Hmm. Maybe I'll just run this one with two on it for now. No. Nope. Maybe not. Come on, give me up to 500k. That's all I need. Oh, come on. 500,000. You know I'm good for it. There's a half of there's halfway there. Nope. There goes the remainder of it. I don't know why I have all this stuff open. I need to keep that open though. I don't need you open. You're not staring at the same thing as me. So maybe you'd rather watch something a little more interesting, like trains moving around. Because I am just staring intently at my uh, money, waiting for it to get up to 500000 so I can buy this stupid car. Get this train on the route. 
might have held off a little bit uh, if I'd realized I didn't have the money to buy this train. So close. So very close. Almost there. Oh, four, oh, 7,000 short. That's right. Once that other train arrives, I should be in good shape. There we go. Thank goodness. What a long nightmare that was. All right. Okay, so now I've got three trains running on this one. Very expensive uh, investment. Um, looks like that's still doing all right. Oh, see? Now, for some reason, yeah, it's like not producing coal anymore. And you stopped producing iron. Why? Why would you do that? You dropped your production dramatically. Because I'm bringing in too many raw resources? Try to ship more steel. And you say, you don't say anything. So you must be doing all right then. So I need to bring, well, I don't need to bring more steel in. I could bring more planks in though. So we'll do that. We'll buy a few of those. We'll put you on the plank route. Uh, that is that one right there. That'll help. And uh, we're going to put a cut in the video here. So I hope you've enjoyed watching. Uh, if you have, you should click the like button down below. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you should do that too. Uh, so you can catch future videos and leave some comments in the comment area down below. I like talking to people. It's fun. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you had a good time and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.